Okay, so in this problem, we're told a storage tank at STP contains 28.5 kilograms of nitrogen N2. A, what is the volume of the tank? B, what is the pressure if an additional 25 kilograms of nitrogen is added without uh, changing the temperature? So how do we uh, solve this problem? So first thing I always like to do is write out my given. So they tell us the mass of N2 is 28.5 kilograms. And so we're going to be solving for the volume of the tank. So I'll say V equals question mark. And then we're also going to be finding the pressure uh, if we add 25 kilograms of nitrogen. So the first thing to understand in this problem is uh, when they mean STP. So they say a storage tank at STP. Uh, STP means standard temperature and pressure. So basically when they tell you something is at STP, they're giving you the temperature value and the pressure value. So Starting off with pressure, the pressure at standard temperature and pressure is one atmosphere, one ATM, okay? And then the temperature at um, this is equal to 273.15 Kelvin. So Kelvin is basically just like Celsius, uh, or just like another way to measure it. So Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. So 273.15 Kelvin in one atmosphere is STP. And then the way we're going to solve for it is by using the ideal gas law, which tells you uh, the pressure times the volume is equal to N, which is the number of moles, times R, which is a constant, times T. So uh, R is basically the gas constant, and the value for it is 8.314 joules per, uh, per mole times Kelvin, so per mole Kelvin. Um, and yeah, so this is basically all you need. So for A, they want us to find the volume. So we're solving for V. We know the pressure is 1 atm, right, just standard pressure. We know T is the standard temperature. Uh, and then R is going to be uh, just this constant. So we actually need N first. So how do we get N? So N is the number of moles. And the number of moles we're going to get from this uh, mass here. So we can convert uh, 28.5 kilograms into the number of moles N2 and then we'll be able to solve for V. So first we need to convert 28.5 kg of N2 into uh, the number of moles. So the way we do that is first we need to convert kilograms to grams. So you should know one kg is 1,000 grams. So one kilogram of N2 is 1,000 grams of N2. Uh, so these cancel right here. Um, and then to convert from grams N2 to moles N2, so to do that, you need to know the molar mass of N2. And that's a value you can just look up on the internet. So just type in molar mass of N2. And you'll find that uh, one, or sorry, one mole of N2 is equal to 28 grams of N2. So the grams will cancel, and we have it in moles of N2 now. So all we have to do is perform these operations. So 28.5, multiplying that by 1,000, and then dividing by 28 you'll get 1,017 point uh, eight five. So 1,017.85, that's gonna go ahead and be the um, moles of N2. So that's the amount of moles of N2, and now it's just a matter of plugging it in. So we would just divide by the pressure. So V equals NRT over P. Um, and then, yeah, we just got to plug it in now. So uh, you should know that the number of moles uh, we just found, right? So 1010.85 times R, which is 8.314 times the temperature, which was 273.15. Uh, and then dividing by the pressure. Uh, and so when you do this, you want to convert your pressure, one atmosphere, into uh, pascals. So, or pascals. So uh, we need to convert that or else we won't get the correct units because we want the volume in uh, meters cubed. So we have to convert one atmosphere into pascals. And so basically one atmosphere is... 1.103 times 10 to the 5 pascals. So uh, we want to use that instead. So that's just a thing you memorize. Uh, 
but yeah, so 1.013 times 10 to the 5 PA. And uh, now we actually have it in the correct units. So we have 1010.85 times 8.314 times 273.15 divided by 1.013 times 10 to the 5 will give you 22.8. Uh, and then the units, right, it would be 818. So you can say 22.82 or just 22.8. It doesn't really matter. We'll say 22.8. And then since we use Pascal's, it's going to be meters cubed. So this right here is your volume. Um, and uh, yeah, so now we've got the um, now we got the volume. Uh, that's your answer to A, by the way. Uh, and then B, they want us to find the pressure if an additional 25 kilograms of nitrogen is added. So keep in mind pressure using the ideal gas law is equal to NRT over V. But in this case, the only thing actually changing is going to be the amount of moles because they tell us we're adding uh, 25 uh, grams. So the, this is also something else you should realize. Uh, if PV equals NRT, if everything else is constant besides the, uh, besides the number of moles, what you can do is use this formula. Uh, P1 over N1 equals P2 over N2. So uh, all you do is you take your initial pressure divided by the number of moles divided by or is equal to uh, the pressure divided by the other number of moles. So the only thing, if all these are constant, you can just use this formula. So we will want to solve for P2. If you multiply both sides by N2, it's basically just a ratio of the number of moles times the initial pressure. So that's just a quick thing you should know. It makes it these are solving a lot easier. So we know the initial number of moles is right here, right? Um, but we're going to be adding 25 kilograms to that. Um, and then we know the initial pressure. So we need to solve for the number of moles uh, when we add 25 kg of N2. I believe it's N2, right? Yeah, so we're adding 25 kg of N2. So we need to find how many moles of N2 is in 25 kg. So once again, we just do the conversion. So I'm going to go through this quicker. Uh, but 1 kg is 1,000 Gs. So that cancels that. Keep in mind, this is of N2. Uh, and then I'm going to move down here. Um, but essentially, we have Gs N2 on the top. So as I said before, 28 Gs of N2 is 1 mole of N2. That's just the molar mass. You can look that up. Uh, and then you just have 25 times 1,000 divided by uh, 28. So 892.857. Uh, keep in mind, this is the number we're adding, though. So to get the number of moles in the second, like after we add it, you have to add this value, right? This is in moles of N2 to the first value. So you're doing, uh, let me just do it here. Let me zoom out a bit. Sorry about that. N2 is equal to 101.7 or 1017.85 plus 892.857. So add these two values, you would get 1910.7, we'll just say 71. Uh, and then, yeah, it's just a ratio. So N2 divided by N1, which was initially. 1017.85 multiplying by the pressure uh, initially right which is just one atmosphere the units don't matter like this time because we're just solving for it in pressure and we can just whatever unit this is is what the pressure is going to be in since the units of the moles are going to cancel so you're doing 1910.71 divided by 10 17.85 and then you're multiplying by one so really it's just that value so you're gonna get 1.877 uh, and then keep in mind this is in atmospheres now right this unit um, and then this is basically just 1.88 so 1.88 atmospheres is going to be the new pressure assuming that we add uh, 25 uh, kilograms of nitrogen so this is the amount or this is your answer to B 
so the new pressure, and then your answer to A was the volume of the tank, just 22.8, and then meters cubed, uh, since we use this unit here. Uh, but yeah, so main takeaways is uh, what STP is, just make sure you memorize what it is, uh, and then, yeah, just using PV equals NRT, and then this trick right here, assuming everything is constant, you can just use this formula, P1 over N1 equals P2 over N2. Uh, but yeah, so these are your answers, and uh, hopefully you found this video useful.